Hi, my name is Gia Yazan. I'm a junior, double majoring in chemical engineering and professional writing. Um, and I'm a defensive specialist libero on the team. Hi, I'm Emily Hudson. I'm a sophomore, double majoring in computer science and actuarial mathematics, and I'm a middle blocker. Hi, I'm Victoria Square. I'm a first year student majoring in industrial engineering with a BSMS in information technology, and I'm a defensive specialist libero on the team. Hi, I'm Katherine Reynolds, and I am a senior BSMS uh, biochemistry and bio biotech major, and I'm a center. Yeah, so MQP it stands for Major Qualifying Project, and it's kind of equivalent to a senior thesis. So throughout your senior year, you work on typically a research project, um, and at the end, you present on everything that you've accomplished throughout the year. So for me personally, um, since I'm a biochemistry major, I worked in a biophysical chemistry lab under Dr. Garricky, and I studied phosphoinositide domain formation in model membrane systems. So basically studying um, different cell signaling pathways. Yeah, so I've really enjoyed working on my MQP. Um, I'm doing research in a wet lab. Um, it's kind of shown me that research isn't necessarily like the thing that I want to do for the rest of my life, but I've learned so much from it. And um, it's actually extremely applicable to all of the classes that I've taken and um, everything. But I, it kind of also showed me that health and kind of like a more hospital clinical setting is kind of where I want to end up. So STAC stands for Student Athletic Advisory Committee. And basically, it's a group of representatives from each sports team at WPI who kind of work together to make the student athlete experience at WPI the best that it can be. Um, they talk a lot about D3 legislature and um, kind of like NCAA protocols. SAC also helps with different student athlete accommodations on campus. Like there's a study center and the rec center and there's different finals week breakfasts and um, things for student athletes to kind of get together and socialize and um, yeah, just have a good time. I like the Rec Center. I do enjoy studying. Uh, it's just right out here. So it's really convenient, especially in season um, where I can just run down to the locker room, get my stuff and go right up to the gym. Um, out of season, I do also find myself here a lot. <laughs> Yeah, um, I've had a great experience in the WPI so far, and even as a first-year student, I'm extremely involved on campus, so you definitely don't have to wait to your sophomore, junior, or even senior year to get involved. I am part of the Crimson Key program, which is basically being a tour guide, which I love. I love telling stories and my experiences in the WPI, my favorite study spots, um, different tips that I can give out students. I also work at the Career Development Center, which is basically a place where you can go speak with advisors so that they help you out with your resume, cover letters, interview tips, or even job offers that you might not know how to answer to. Um, additionally, I'm part of several clubs, one of them especially being the Society of Hispanic Professional Engineers, SHEP for short, where I am cu currently the public um, relations chair. So I'm in charge of the Instagram. So uh, as you can see, I'm extremely involved. You have several opportunities here on campus. And if you don't find a club out of the 250 plus clubs that we have here on campus, you can create your own. So don't be scared to make your way through campus. <laughs> Well, I definitely live by my Outlook calendar. If it's not there, it's not happening. So if you want to hang out with me, you have to send me an invite. Um, I do like to keep everything color coded. So that helps a lot with seeing what classes, what's like, what's my next class or if I have practice or if I have a club meeting and so on. But it does help to set up times. In my calendar, there's times that even seeing free time might throw me off a little bit. So I have to put like, oh, this is my time to do homework so then I can have a free night or so that I can go to sleep early. I like that I have the opportunity to constantly try out new things. Now I'm experiencing my first spring season. So now I can actually see how the overload with my homeworks, with my classes looks like along with my athletics part of my life. So 
I think that at the WPI you have great opportunities to try out new things, try out your management skills, and if you fail, no worries, you'll get you'll get it. You trust me, you'll get it. <laughs> um, yes, I joined Alpha Phi this year, where we support women's heart health, um, and we have a lot of events that raise uh, money to go to that organization. Um, we just had our red dress formal, where we had um, many professionals in the field of women's health um, come and speak about some of the topics that. Um, women can struggle with and their heart health. Um, we are currently um, going through Greek week, which is great. It gets um, everyone involved on campus and all the different stories and the fraternities where we can just meet a lot of people, have a lot of fun, play a lot of games, and it's just, it's a great time. <laughs> Um, well, I definitely agree with uh, Vicky about my Outlook calendar. Um, <laughs> that is definitely what keeps me uh, organized throughout the day. Um, but other than that, I just have to stay organized, stay on top of everything, um, and just find time to, you know, relax, do homework, have a social life, and attend other clubs and activities that I'm a part of. I'm also a part of Women in Computer Science and the Actual Mathematics Club, um, and those two clubs are just great because they get you involved um, and to meet other people that are in uh, my major as well, and um, it's helpful with planning classes and getting advice from um, older students that are going through the same thing. The IQP is an interactive qualifying project, which is um, a necessary project to graduate that you'll complete usually your junior year. Um, I went to Thailand in C-term, and it was actually really, really fun. <laughs> uh, I got to experience new culture and uh, new different kind of climate, different people, different language. It was really cool. My project was in waste management in a rural village outside of Bangkok. So I got to experience both the city and sort of the more rural, small life side. Um, in B term, I had to take a course called ID2050, which is sort of just a preparation course. It's a social science course where they teach you about research methods, um, social science, and like the more social implications of a technical problem, right? So my project was in waste management, which you could approach as an engineering problem, but they really emphasized the social implications and impacts of what our project will do. So the biggest takeaway, I think, was learning how I operate in a group setting, in a professional setting, and then in environments that I'm not used to, um, because not, none of my teammates or I spoke Thai, but our entire project was speaking to people who don't know English, so we worked closely with students out of Thai University, Chula Longkorn University, um, and it was really cool getting to meet people, and it sort of just helped me learn how to branch out more and get more out of my comfort zone coming back. One of my favorites, it's very simple, but it was just rice with like a Japanese omelet, which is like one of those runny omelets on top, and then crispy pork. So good. <laughs> I miss it every day. I try to make a Japanese omelet as much as I can, and it's so hard. But So a season highlight from this past year has been traveling with the team. We actually started playing more teams outside of our region. So we traveled to RIT. Yeah, we traveled to RIT, um, and it was an overnight. It was like a tournament. There were a bunch of teams there. Um, it was like a six-hour drive of all of us in the same bus, in the same vehicle. Um, so you can imagine we kind of lost ways to entertain ourselves. <laughs> so we ended up playing trivia for like two hours straight. Um, and then we started playing word games. And then at the, at the actual tournament overnight at the hotel, we were playing a lot of card games. And it was really fun to bond. I remember it's card games. Someone brought a big jug of chocolate milk. <laughs> so good times. <laughs> Um, one of our team traditions is to dress up for the practice before Halloween. So each um, class picks a theme and we um, dress up. And so this year my class was Hillbillies and um, the seniors were Scooby-Doo and we just have a fun time, you know, dressed up. We post on the Instagram, see which class um, has the most votes. Um, and we play a twos tournament where we mix up the classes and we like see which duo partner is, wins the tournament, but it's a lot of fun, and dressing up is always interesting. I remember last year, um, the seniors were grapes, and they just <laughs> attached a lot of purple balloons to themselves, and it was really interesting seeing them dive on the floor and pop all of them. 
One of the our first like traditions or events that we had this past season was that we all coordinated to go apple picking, which was pretty fun. We had we got lucky that a lot of us, like a lot of the team, had cars, so we just <laughs> did car rides and all that. Um, so the best part was that there were no apples to pick, and it was super funny because it was also my first time ever doing anything like that because I was born in Venezuela, I lived there for 11 years, then I moved to Miami, so definitely no traditions like that over there. Um, we also saw a lot of pumpkins and we took a lot of pictures. I took my camera because I'm also a photographer and we got some pretty funny pictures. We got some pretty pictures. We also got a team picture, finally, <laughs> um, out of uniform, but it was it was a cute picture. It was a cute event. Um, we I tried out, I think it was the cinnamon dusted donuts. Oh, the um, apple. The apple, apple, apple cider donuts. Apple cider donuts, which I had never tried. They were delicious. So it was just a fun event with the team where I got new experiences and I got to know them better as a first year student in the team. Um, so another tradition that we've recently started is a game um, in support of Coach Greg Poole, who um, was a past WPI volleyball coach. So from now on, whenever we play Springfield, who is in our conference, whoever the home team is, is going to host the Greg Poole game. And so one of our highlights this year was um, beating nationally recognized Springfield during this game. Um, for us, especially for the people who had Coach Poole as a head coach, it really meant a lot for us to be able to show um, him what we're capable of, um, especially against a great opponent like Springfield. So one of my favorite moments this year was after the season, or about a month after the season, Coach took us out to dinner at The Fix, which is a burger bar in Worcester, and we did paper plate awards. So we picked a random person and basically gave them an award for whatever it may be. Um, what were some of the funny ones? I got like the like best libero from Carcass. Yes. Like Caracas. Yes. <laughs> and then like my roommate Liv got like most likely to do a cartwheel during the middle of practice and make Coach mad. <laughs> but yeah, so it was really fun just to kind of like recognize um, our different teammates and just kind of like jokingly have a nice little little dinner time. And we also did a white elephant. Um, like a gift swap, I think it's called. So just like funny gifts that you get passed around. And so there were some, there were some pretty good ones. Yeah. I think for me, my biggest thing would be, especially for D3 sports, you're a student before you're an athlete. So making sure that you are in love with the school and that the school provides you with the the majors, the resources, everything that you need in order to succeed because athletics are huge here. We all love them. They're a huge part of our college experience. But the reason we chose D3 was so that we could have basically a great balance between athletics and academics. I definitely agree with Kat. Um, you're a student first and then an athlete in a Division three school. But I also want to highlight the community. That's also, I have like three reasons why I chose WPI, and that's definitely one of them. I, I'm like the fourth member to come study here at WPI from my family. So I definitely had a glimpse of the community as a younger child, which is one of the reasons why I chose WPI. I would definitely take into account whether you want to be an athlete and then a student or a student and then an athlete when you're deciding on Division One, Two, or Three, and also taking into account the opportunities that you will get at that college and the type of community that you want to be a part of. Yes, I definitely agree with everything that was said before. Um, and also, don't be afraid to start early and look at schools that you might not think that you want to go to. Um, it would definitely help narrow down what you're looking for and your best fit. So don't be afraid to reach out to a lot of different coaches and a lot of different schools um, just to find what's perfect for you. I would say focus on finding, uh, like a, like Vicky said, like a campus culture and community that you can see yourself in. 
So I kind of got lucky at WPI, <laughs> but um, it, like think about what the school prioritizes, what the athletics prioritize. For us, we definitely prioritize like our lives outside of volleyball, especially as students, um, but also make sure you have a good balance of everything that you care about. WPI has a lot of opportunities, but it, it depends on you personally.